Good afternoon. We're so hey. glad you're here. We did vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Teddy we was have just an artist. <laughs> Teddy was just smitten. We're also doing paints on the postcards that we're sending for our American Cancer Society fundraiser we did. It's also nap time for that kid. So the person on TikTok who had done the like five meals and $50 grocery haul, they did another series. And I wasn't crazy about like one of the recipes. Like I didn't think that that would feed like our whole family very well. I think I'm going to use that for lunches for just myself. Um, but anyway, I did it. I That's what, how I like based our groceries before I left. And so tonight I am making this like lemon chicken rice situation um and i'm prepping it during the day so that when it's actually dinner time it's just like easy to throw in because teddy's been napping like a champ lately um and so i've like me and james have done our thing he's eating lunch and teddy's still snoozing so i'm like might as well cook dinner i cooked up some chicken thighs just seasoned them up real good i I'm going to bake them also, so they're gonna have more cook time. Um, just made sure they're nice and crisp on each side. And then in that same crock pot, I'm just cooking up ooh, a full onion, a full onion, a onion. And I'm just gonna cook the onions until they're translucent. There's also a good amount of minced garlic in there. Then the recipe calls for a cup of rice. I'm gonna do a half a cup of quinoa and a half a cup of rice. Just a good mix, I'm trying to get on this Mediterranean diet train and just have nice complex grains going on. Um, I'm not crazy about quinoa on its own. Um, and that's just my like pickiness that's carried through my very white bread life. Um, but I like, if I mix it, like if I do rice and quinoa, like it's much more like easy for me and then I can still get it in at least a little bit. So, you add that in and like toast it up a bit before we add in liquids. Okay, pretend like I didn't just forget to continue the cook with me. Oh my gosh. I added in the grains and then a cup of chicken broth, um, half a can of full fat coconut milk, and the juice of one lemon. <laughs> Teddy's awake. And then two cups of uh, kale. Add in the chicken and then baked it for 20 minutes. And so I, obviously it's like not dinner time yet. So I did bake it. I'm just going to keep it covered on the stove top. And then once like dinner comes, I'll heat it up. So dinner's done. Besides like whatever side I end up making. As we're going to Disney World, it starts raining. That does not stop us. <laughs> Teddy fell asleep before we left. Woke up in the car. Yep. James fell asleep in the car. Sarah's not telling me. She's telling me she's not about to go to Bellevue Lounge and have a mocktail by herself and walk on this vlog when it's the only thing she needs to do. We haven't even said what we're doing. I'm going to Epcot with the boys. Sarah's editing the vlog. Yes. And then she's gonna meet up with us. So put a comment down below how upset you're gonna be if you find out Sarah did not get a mocktail at Bellevue Lounge to work on the vlog. Well, 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 look at this. It's like I have the whole boardwalk to myself and it's like, the storm's leaving, so it's like nice, but still rainy out. It's wonderful. I'm gonna have a coffee from the Boardwalk Deli and head over to Board or 
I can't even talk. I'm so excited. I'm gonna grab a coffee and head over to Epcot. <sighs> Look at that flower and garden. Gotta love it. I bet. I don't know. I won't know until I get up here. But I'm willing to bet that that was a significant enough thunderstorm that came through that it might have, just might have cleared out of kind of a little bit. I mean, I've got some chilling babies snoozing and relaxing, but a chill lagoon is always a nice thing. One day we will get this for Evie girl to have a friend. Ruff! 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 <laughs> so it's that like like I was saying before, I feel like the storm has passed our location, but I think it's growing. So like we're like consistently staying in the outer rim of it. So it's just like this little heavy spittle. Like I don't know if I should use my umbrella, if I should not use my umbrella, I don't know if I should I think it's fine enough where I can stay outside. Um, but either way. If you're gonna get spit on by some rain, where's a better place to do it than World Showcase Lagoon, right? On Friday Eve, and I accomplished a big feat today. I like closed out this this huge audit. Um, well, there's a, it's a two part huge audit. Half of it's due in May, half it's due in June, but the June part's gonna be easy. So I'm gonna consider that part of it. But I closed it out today. Super happy, super grateful for all the wonderful teams I worked with. I've, if you guys have remembered, like I've talked about this before, like. We have stopped working on this on a Friday to go hang out with the Earhart's when they were here. One year, one year I took a, a call about this at the airport on the way to Chicago for a visit. Like I do it every year, and it's always a mess. And today we finished it, so it's kind of like a celebration today, right? So I decided to send my baby here. He's chilling, eating some peanut butter puffs. And my other baby is snoozing, and it's like. One of my favorite kinds of weather. I would. I have always talked about this. I feel like I'm thriving in Seattle. I think I'm gonna get Schaffenhofer if the outdoor cart is open at Germany. A lot. So it's, it, uh, World Showcase is what they in the business call 101. Lightning strikes have been within like 10 miles, or whatever it is. So all outdoor vending is closed. But I wonder if this booth is open because it's technically like yes, it is. It's like technically on an actual structure. So we're gonna do it. Whoa. Hey. It's a mirror. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're a cute kid. Don't these look like the comfiest pants ever? They look like they're already like pre-worn down, like they've been in your worn in your basement ten years and they're all just hanging out on sleepovers in the weekend. Well you don't see this every day. Anna and Elsa outside together? What? So interesting. Isn't that a view? And the flowers I feel like are extra popping with this like muted sunlight coming in because of the storms. We're just cruising. James is still sleeping, which is actually getting to be a nervous level because it's 7'10 now. I should probably wake him up soon. And Teddy's just chilling. Looking at stuff. Eating some snacks. Enjoying the sights and sounds. Maybe we'll go hit up some Club Cool. I made the mistake on the way to Beverly to uh, come check out some mud. You guys know I haven't done it in a while. Then they're so good, but this is trouble. I love this. So nice. I think that's funny. I love this one. So many. So good. I love that one down there. Okay, better walk away before I regret something. You guys know Sarah and I are pretty receptive to change and updates and everything, but there's just something about this that doesn't hit quite like the old club pool. And I did have Teddy have some more Beverly. He didn't hate it. Didn't like it, but he didn't hate it. So one step at a time. Wow, look at that. The rainbow in Epcot. Right, the way we are playing shows with May Have Spend, we have a saying that we stay true every time, every time, every time we play. And that saying is the following. A friend, never let a friend dance alone. Look for spell and call, but I'm empty, I start the dark, but I'm not gonna sit down, it's exactly that. 
Not bad, not bad. Nine minutes. Wow. It's beautiful and majestic. I love this show. Okay, Peter can be happy. I got a little fancy drink from the Bellevue Lounge. They didn't have the one I wanted, so we literally came up with just a pomegranate fancy drink. He added mint and lime and honey and tea. He's a very nice bartender and perfect for editing. I decided to sit over here by where the carousel coffee is. Like this is a seating, um, not crowded. I didn't feel like I was taking up a seat at the bar. And then they have great plugs everywhere. Plus like the USB port. So like if you're ever looking to work remote on property, anything you gotta do that you might need like plug and a little seclusion. This has been fabulous. And then you get the ambiance of the boardwalk. You can hear the music, people checking in. Honestly, I think, like, and we've said this before, like, there's nothing like check-in day at a Disney resort. Like, your whole trip is ahead of you, just getting here, smelling everything, and then just, like, being just full of just pure joy, excitement. Obviously, like, your travels might have been stressful. Like, you still might have a couple of, like, points to like get your luggage and all of that like getting in order before you can like really relax but it's just like you arrive and you're here and it's just like there's nothing like it and so being able to like watch people come and be excited and to and like hanging out in the lobby is just great for those kinds of feels um and so i've loved it i've loved it here i was able to turn through the vlog um it so Basically, we really like this schedule that every other day, it allows me to just like, like I'm a plan, planny person. And so it being like, oh, let's do two-parter. Oh no, I'll, I'll edit tonight. Oh, let's not vlog. Like, it just feels good to have like, I know. Today I'm editing, tomorrow I'm not. And today I'm editing, tomorrow I'm not. And so now that I'm back, we had a little bit of just like readjusting when I got back. Um, we wanted to catch up. We didn't want to get too far behind. So that's why I stayed back and edited real quick. The vlog actually, it's three days and it's 18 minutes. So it wasn't a doozy of a three-parter. Um, and then I'll go meet the boys. Canada was awesome. We had to run to Morocco because there's a companion bathroom there that's easier for me to go to the bathroom with these guys. Sarah's done editing and uploading, so she's gonna come over here. The line for the France booth was not bad and it's usually terrible. So Sarah's gonna leave now and come over and meet us there at International Gateway right here by France. And then we're gonna hop in line and grab oh, just a little sneaky snack. Cause I think J James ate dinner, he ate a good amount of dinner, but he, um, I think he could eat more. Plus I know Sarah wanted to try this stuff. So we're gonna hit that up for snackage. Okay, I am all done. I'm gonna head into Epcot. I was just telling Peter how I missed going out this exit when we were at the boardwalk like two nights ago. Because this vista is just like one of my favorite views. But now that we have a stroller, we don't. So I'm gonna take this staircase today. It's funny how like little things like that change. Like just in your life, I'm sure there'll be times again where we take those stairs often. Um, yeah, just a little appreciation for the, the little details of the boardwalk. Oh man, dead end, where do we go next? Let's go this way. We got 20 minutes till showtime. Kids don't know, but mom is on her, she just got into the park. The goal is to go to, straight to France to get snacks. Oh, Sarah's calling me now. With 15 minutes left until showtime, look who's with us. She, she arrived in her beautiful dress, and she says, now give me beautiful food. Yeah. Nice. What's so funny? <laughs> the line is always so long, so we vowed, but the next time we saw it, I mean, even remotely short, we'd hop in and there was nobody in line. So we got the braised beef and this cheesy croissant.
This is how we burn energy. Empty the tanks before we get in the car and go home. I'm gonna get you, Teddy. I'm gonna get you, Jamesy. Hey. Grandma's song. It is. <laughs> Stalin. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, so tired. His name is Steve Irwin, and he's out of energy. He's just seeing the stars and the lights from Fantasmic. Sometimes you just gotta stargaze on the boardwalk lawn. <laughs> you dancing? What's that noise? Woo! Dancing night away. Boom. Dancing night away. Boom, boom. It's like a fun mom, daughter, like, out like, I don't even know. It's not I can't think of the word. Hula hoop. Then I don't know. It's been a day. And Teddy is out in the loose. Bye! Bye! Come back over here. I'll save you. I'll save you. I'll save you. Ah. Oh no! He's gonna fall into the, into the marsh. We just watched Ted Lasso fold the laundry like two good kids. Have you guys watched Shrinking? Don't mind laundry bottles and diapers. <gasps> it's midnight. We're supposed to go to bed at midnight. <laughs> was that episode so good? It was so good. It, I want all the episodes to be out now. Isaac. Roy. <laughs> Keeler. Higgins. Higgins is my favorite. Comment below your favorite Ted Lasso character. If it's not Higgins, don't comment. Um, I think mine is Roy. It's good to be home. Wow, what a way to start our Friday. Stretches from Evie, Mr. Potato Head, and Stace. So it is lunchtime today, and I'm gonna make something I saw on TikTok, and there was these little egg tostada things with refried beans. And so it's a tostada, refried beans. I put garlic, onion powder, cumin, and pepper in the, in the beans. And then you make this little well. Then you top it with cheese and crack an egg in the middle. I'm gonna need two hands for that. So I'll let you know how that goes. We got Onward on, so we're very enthused. So the eggs actually look pretty good. Topped with salt and pepper. Gonna put them in the oven at 375 for 10 to 15 minutes or however you like your eggs. 15 minutes later, here she is. I topped mine with some guac and salsa. We'll see, we'll see how it is. <laughs> Peter just finished a big project at work. I think I was talking about it yesterday in the vlog, but today was the actual deadline and we got our signatures from our big four auto firm, so. Yay! <sighs> just in time for dinner to be ready. I mean this. Creamy broccoli pasta. I'll put the link to that TikTok recipe below. If you're ever hesitant about like soaking cashews because you think it's gonna take forever, it really doesn't. And this is gonna be really filling. It is already delicious, so highly recommend. He's just gonna have Donkey Kong for dinner. James fell asleep on a minor walk. <laughs> I needed to get like fresh air because I've been like waiting for this team to finish this thing. <laughs> He's so Mike I took the boys <laughs> on a little walk while Sarah was calling. We had like a, today's a responsibility day, so Sarah was on the phone with like our health insurance trying to deal with a bill for Teddy's birth, birth that we just got a, almost a year later. We're, we're fighting that. Sorry, he, he wants to see Jules. <laughs> <laughs> and James falls asleep. So that'll be interesting, but that's what happens when your toddler is growing. Like, 
tinkering on the side of not napping anymore. It's a stay at home day on the Friday, so we're gonna party and start the new season of Queer Eye. Yay! I'm so, so happy. I just, I just wish they'd go to Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> you still in your jammies? Yeah. You shall not pass. Alright, the thing on the list today for me is get the garage in order. We got some boxes to break down from the chairs, tie them up. We got a flag to hang. We got some stuff to go through. Got to move some stuff around, do the things. So I'm, I'm just going to start. That's all I can do, right? Okay, we got changed. We're also on like Teddy First Steps watch. He's been like so just getting around so independently. But also like wanting to like take our hands and like transfer from thing to thing. So, oh gosh, who knows? All right, got in here later than expected, so I didn't get as much as I wanted to get done. Actually, I had no like, I had no like par bar minimum that I wanted to get done. Um, obviously, it would have been great to get it all done, but there's um, some drilling and screwing and um, loud things that would have to get done that. Wouldn't want to do too, too late, but I did hang some stuff and organize some very special stuff. I kind of got a little bit of a, a uh, little bit of emotional about it all because this is some things that we, I know we've talked about a lot and we did show some of it during the move and everything and um, just some very special objects that it's one of my highest honors to be able to take care of and use and keep in, in our lives and tell stories of these things. But check out our awesome garage display. So check it out. We've got the grandpa shop up. That was Sarah. And the girls as grandpa's sign that Sarah's dad took when he passed. And that was hanging up in their garage, Sarah's parents' garage, as long as since we started dating well before that. And then there's like, these are photos of Sarah's dad and some friends at some outings um, over the years. He, he, was a, he was a coach in, in Evergreen Park. And then this is just a thermometer that was hung up in the garage that I think was Grandpa Joe's from 85, 855 West Evergreen Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. Um, and this is a little cartoon one of Sarah's dad's friends drew about him um, at the State Farm office. The, the whole office called him Mr. Evergreen. Um, and then workbench, some really fun, cool stuff in here. A lot of tools. A lot of tools that were mostly Sarah's grandpa's, then went on to be Sarah's dad's, that he added to, um, that I then got to use with but some very, very cool memories. A lot of cool, wonderful, priceless tools in here. Stories that from I was told, stories that I helped, I helped do things in Sarah's parents' house with these things with Sarah's dad and uncles. Um, in here we've got even more, So is very cool. We got uh, that skill saw, we've got another skill saw over there. These are Sarah's dad's uh, firebreaker boots from when he was doing uh, I forgot the technical term was, but when he was in State Farm doing fire assessments when they would go in after uh, a house or a building or a business uh, had a fire. Here is a really cool award that my that my grandfather, who just passed away a little over a year ago, we went, he went by Pop Pop. He was a lifelong Marine, and he got this for a cool running challenge. I never knew about that until we went to his services last year. And then we're, this is over here because on this wall of the garage, we are gonna hang this like taut wire from probably here across. And we're actually gonna hang finally all of my running medals. And then, so this is gonna go with it. Super cool and very special to me. And then I've got a, a Marines uh, walking stick there from my pop-up as well. And this is a little wind chime. I don't think this is gonna be where it is, but this was in their Sarah's parents' screen porch. That reminds me of Sue. So yeah, very special, very uh, honored and I'm glad to have the space now to work on things. I'm glad to have the organization for tools. I've been working out of this 
tool bag since Sarah and I got married and it's been like overwhelming with the tools that I've been collecting over the years and now it's a very big honor to be mixing those tools with Sarah's dad's tools and Sarah's grandpa's tools. So very, very cool. This was uh, very special for me to, to kind of get set up and, and start organizing. Uh, full transparency, this is what behind me looks like. <laughs> so not too much more to do. I'm gonna hang some um, fixtures on the wall right there to hold our uh, vacuum and our steam mop and then that's some cardboard I have to get out um, and then some garbage, our big air compressor that we got from Sarah's parents and then stuff we just have to find places for leftover paint from um, the management company so we can do any anytime we can do touch up paints in the whole uh, town home. So very cool. So yes, that's what we have left. Not too, too much considering what this was. Thanks. So we can... Thanks for doing the garage. So nice. I saw it on the vlog. <laughs> Finishing up editing, and we have a full weekend. Mother's Day weekend. Oh yeah. Maybe some swimming, haircuts. It's good to be home. It's good to be you home. You just look like James. <laughs> we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.